name is Candice and I'm a speech pathologist. Hi, I'm Jo and I'm an occupational therapist. And today we're making some personalised puzzles. What you'll need to do this puzzle are some paddle pop sticks. We're using blank ones today because we want to decorate them how we like. Yeah. We've got some paint brushes, we need some sticky tape, paint and some water just to clear the paintbrush. So let's get started. The first thing is you'll need about seven, depending on the thickness of your paddle pops, we've just got standard ones. You'll need 11, around 11? Yep, we use one. Yep. And what you need to do, you need to put them all together. Nice and evenly in a row, like so, just like these are too. These are already completed ones. Once you have them in place and you've made sure they're all in line, so you can just use your hands on the side to push them all nicely together, you'll get your sticky tape and you'll want to keep them in that spot, so we'll just sticky tape the back. Just a few strips. So two will do. Two will do. And then, once you've done that, you just peel... Off. We're using paper today because underneath our butter pop sticks because we don't want to get the paint everywhere. So you just peel it and then you make sure it's facing the other way now. So at least it'll stay up like that. So when you do your picture, you're not going to have to worry about them sliding around, coming apart. Yep, and then right at the end you'll peel it off. So you pop them on your piece of paper and we can get started with the paint. Okay, so today we're going to make a flower puzzle and Joe's going to make a balloon puzzle. You can choose any design you want. You don't have to do a flower and a balloon. You could do someone's name. You could do a love heart. You could do a, a flag, a smiley face, anything heart. you like. Anything you like, but that's what we're going to do today. We're also going to leave the background blank today because you have to paint the whole background, let it dry before you do any design. But as you could see in our examples that we showed you earlier, we did do the background silver, let it dry, then did our um, pictures on top. So let's get started. I'm going to have, I'll be using red, my first balloon. If you're not confident in just painting straight away, you can get a lead pencil and draw your design and rub it out as much as you can, as much as you want, sorry, um, until you're happy with what you've drawn and then you can go over it in paint. You can also use textures, crayons, anything you like if you don't have paint handy or you prefer that to draw on top as well. I do three different colour balloons. Nice. So I'll wet my brush, make sure all the paint's good, and I might go for a green. So I'm just drawing two big circles. And for my flower, just doing a little curved petal. And I'm going to do one first, then I do one directly opposite. Like that. And then I do one on the other side. And again to make it even. I do one exactly opposite that as well. Like so. And then I'm left with four spaces, so one, two, three, four, and I'll do petals in there as well. So what I'm doing with my balloons is I'm outlining them in black. Makes them stand out. Yeah. You can do the same with the flower as well. You can always do an outline if you like an outline, but today I'm just going to leave it nowhere. And what else I'm doing is just adding the balloon string. All joining together on one side. Do my last petal. And then now I'm going to really slowly go close to the red to fill in all the gaps. And there's my flower. So if you want to make it really 
um, bright and strong colour, you will let it dry, then do another layer. Let it dry, do another layer again. But I, I'm happy with that. What about you, Jo? I'm pretty happy. Okay, perfect. So we're going to let this to dry. So here is the puzzle that Jo prepared earlier with the balloons. So let's have a try. It is harder than you think. Even if it's a simple design, it is hard to put together. So we'll try to put it together now. Mm -hmm. right. um, and it's it's quite nice. You can actually give this as a gift as well, which is, oh, see, harder than you think. Nope. I think it's <laughs> this one. Maybe then it's that one. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. We've got something happening. <laughs> Is that it? Maybe, oh, maybe not. Here we go. Oh, that looks better. The more complex um, you make your design, the harder it's going to be to put together. And there you go. Ta da! So, here are our completed designs that we did earlier. I hope you enjoyed today's craft, and we hope that you do make your own puzzles at home. If you have any ideas for us, future videos, please let us know and send your ideas to ideas at northcourtinnovation.com.au. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.